I use this in a lot of my greens, and I'll show you what I do with greens to keep you from using school box greens. This is a terra, terra rosa. I could actually probably leave this color out here for now, but uh, I like having it. This transparent oxide red I like because I can mix it with ultramarine blue, and it's a really black color. So I can mix it with the green. Okay, so these are my earth colors split up, though they shouldn't be. If you're copying, if you're copying the way I laid my palette out, take this yellow ochre and put it in here. <laughs> Don't put it there. And then you can use this for your purples and funny stuff over here. Um, so then blue is, this is pretty basic, so if it's too basic for some of you, I have a nutcracker maker that can do some job if I need to. Um, ultramarine blue is a kind of a purpley uh, blue, and it actually, with white, makes a nice purple. Also, this terra rosa with white, the other reason I guess I probably have it, with white is a really nice soft pink, and it's really good in the spring. It's so I really like it for that. It's not harsh. Um, so this, the, the purest blue is cobalt, and if you were just going to use three colors on your palette, probably a good palette where you could get a wide range would be cobalt, alizarin crimson, and, and uh, cad lemon. You'd be able to get, there's a lot of variety and vibrance in those three colors. Mm -hmm.